SubAssembly required too. Okay, we have a website. Here's the website and our flag. That's incorrect. So we look at the page source. We see there's some JavaScript on button press. Let's go ahead and look at that JavaScript. All right, so uh, what we've got going on here is we see another one of these files, this AD8SV, whatever. And if we download that, it is going to be a web assembly. So what I'll do, copy, I'll show you how we can figure that out. Supposed to be this AD8S, AD8YVKB. Save file. So it's a WebAssembly. So we can debug WebAssembly using these tools that are built into Chrome. And so there's this WASM debugging ex extension. And so I went through. I opened Chrome, I clicked the gear icon, and I turned on enabling dwarf support. So now I have here this website. So I can open this control shift J. It's going to open this and look at the sources. So I have the JavaScript and I have this web assembly, which it disassembles for me. When I look at this JavaScript, I can click right here and it's going to pretty print it for me. And here's the on button press. So one of the things you'll see is it's going to call this exports copy care. I set a breakpoint there. So I'll go ahead and submit. I've hit my breakpoint. You'll notice I'm passing in the ASDF to this copy care method. So if we look now in here, or this copy care method, what it does is it loops through and it's going to exclusive or each byte with the number eight. And then later on, it's got this string compare method that gets called from check flag. So check flag calls string compare with 1072 and 1024. Now 1024 we see down here is this fun string. And I'll show you what's going on with 1072. So we had ASDF that came in. And we're going to, uh, let's see, let's continue. Here we are in check flag. Um, I think I actually want to go back and sort of show you that whole thing again. So here we're about to step in the copy character. Let me step over and we'll step into. So here I am in copy character. If I look here in the module memory, we see this int8 array. And I'll plus this out. So at 1,024, that corresponds to this constant down here. So that 120 is the lowercase x. At 1,072, we have our four characters, A, S, D, F. And now as we step through this, Stopping a little bit. So there it actually applied that. So now if we look at the memory, so the 1072, you'll see it's now 105. So it was an A. So A with 97, and then if I exclusive or 97 with 8, 
I get 105. So that's what's happening. It's exclusive ordering my input with 8. And it's going to string compare with this string here. So I'll go ahead and copy this string. And I'll just ask Python to help me out. So, so I'll say, um, like the character that comes from the ordinal of J exclusive or with eight or J in that crazy string. All right, so Pico looks like maybe something bad happened in the copy paste. So Pico C, that should be a T, F. Let's just try that string over here. So if I say, I'll turn off the debugging, that won't help anymore. Pico CTF 6B247E06B36. Nine nine eight four B seven five O O D D H D nine nine two F three F E close curly brace. All right, so that's my flag. So I should be able to copy that over here to Firefox. And there we go. 